Hi, this is Chorus Cozies. Well, waiting for Babe. I decided that I wanted to make some tea cozies, but I couldn't find a tutorial online that I was really happy with. So I decided to make my own. It was really important to me that I didn't have to hand stitch in the lining so it didn't fall down, um, or that it was glued, or that I had any exposed batting on the inside. I also wanted to make sure that I had a really nice solid edge around the bottom. So enjoy my video. Thanks! Chosen two pieces of material here for my cozy. This is going to my be my exterior as well as my lining fabric. And this is going to be my trim fabric. So the main fabric here, I have cut four sections of nine by 12, which I think is the perfect size for a cozy. I've also cut four sections of nine by 12 lining. So I want to make sure it's nice and hot. So I have four pieces here. If you have a bit of a thicker lining, you can just do two. For your bottom edge around to finish everything up, of the accent fabric here, you're going to need to do 24 so that it wraps all the way around and three inches deep because we're going to fold that in half. Then you also need to have another piece for the pull at the top and that's going to be two inches by three inches. For my pull, I'm just going to fold that two by three piece of fabric in half and then I'm going to fold it in half again and fold it in half again. Okay, I'm just going to finger press all of that down and then I'm going to sew all the way along this exterior edge right here and press it. Imagining that I have sewn it and pressed it, I'm going to fold it in half again to find the center and then I'm going to fold it in on itself and press it down so that that was the front of my pull and that's going to be the back of my pull and then it'll be sewn in right here at the bottom. My bottom edge trim, I'm simply going to take that 3 by 24 inch section, fold it in half, finger press it out, and then give that a nice good iron. The key to a Cora Cozy is really all in the layering of fabric. So to start at the bottom, I'm going to have one layer of batting. I'm then going to put down my fabric. I'm going to have two pieces of facing fabric here. There we go. So that's going to be my outside of my cozy. I'm going to have another layer of batting. And then I'm going to have two more pieces of facing fabric on top of that. And that's going to be my lining. I've created a triangle um, here with some quilting safety pins just to hold everything down really nice. And around the top here, I've just taken um, my pattern. So that's my 12 by nine. And I've just taken a bowl and curved the top of it right there and cut out the extra triangle pieces that were on the edges here. And now I just need to sew all the way around, leaving the bottom edge open. At this point, I need to make sure that I add in that pull that I have. So I'm going to go back to the first layer of facing fabric. I'm just going to peel that back, find the center piece, and I'm going to set that in upside down there like that. So it'll be sewed right along that edge, and then I just fold it back in. I haven't found any need to pin. It seems to stick in there just fine. Okay, I've sewn all the way around the outside, so I'm going to go inside here, find that layer that's my good side that has the pull tab in it, and I'm going to turn that side inside out. Okay, I've turned that inside out so that my pull tab's at the top, and I've pressed out all my corners. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go inside, I'm going to find my linings, and I'm going to turn that all the way inside out. Okay, we're now ready to add our trim edge around the bottom here to seal everything up. It's very important that you cut this on the right bias, so um, one way is going to be taut with the fabric, 
and the other way is going to be um, stretchy so you have to make sure that it's on the tight um, and so I had to take some pieces and just sew them up here together to make sure that it was um, on the tight end because we don't want this to stretch at all while you're sewing it so this is that 3 by 24 length section that you folded over and pressed and you're just going to line that up with the um, unfinished edge here at the bottom so the finished edge is up at the top and I've just pinned them horizontally along the edge here um, just to tack everything down. Okay, I've sewn all the way around that bottom edge there. Made sure that on the end here, I've just flipped the ends inside out so that they're wrapped around each other so I have a nice smooth edge. Now I'm gonna go back to my good side and turn everything inside out again. Okay, I flipped my cozy right side around here so that I have my pull up at the top. And then I'm just going to take this edge that I just sewed together on the inside. I'm going to pull it up over top, so just past um, this line that I've sewn so that I have a nice straight edge and then I'm going to pin it vertically like I have here. So it's important when you're pinning it that you pin right at the top but then you make sure that the pin comes straight out through the bottom edge. This will cause the pin not to go back and forth and make your line at the end really wavy and difficult to sew. Now that I've sewn along this bottom edge here, my cozy is complete. One meter will give you four cozies, four nine by 12 cozies, um, with just a bit of trim for the edge. Um, 0.2 of a meter was just fine for me. If you wanna make a custom size cozy, you take a straight edge and you look straight on and measure it from the bottom to the top and then add two. So this cozy is nine, so say it was um, seven, then you'd add two and then it was 12 across. So then if it was 10 from spout to handle, you'd add two and it would be 12 across. And you just change the sizing for whatever size your teapot is. It's also important to measure how high the spout is. So on this, my widest part is that six inches. So I've gone up my six inches and that's when I start my curve in here. I've also got my centerpiece um, for my little pull tab at the top. So make sure that you put that in. I found that um, this sort of toaster shape was better as opposed to the large um, round shape because all of this fabric was just wasted at the top and it lets a little bit more um, room in so that you don't get as much heat retention.